let's get started here. So today, um, well, Steve, I'll let you explain it because uh, we, you know, it was a short time to, for us to get together here. Okay, uh, we're just we're going to talk about. Excuse me, please. I've got a, a, a head cold, and I, if I cough a little, I apologize. Okay, we had a. We've just been having dynamic movements in this market. It's just been up and up and up. And we've actually gone into some pretty strong areas. And right now I'm looking at 24 area as a very real possibility with, with the patterns that I have. Not just here, but I've got another another area where I've got it. So we were yesterday fighting around, fighting around, going up and down everything. And then today when it broke this, we had these moves. When it broke this high here at the 02, it just took off. I was hoping earlier it would come back down and test it, and it did here. And let me let me get into a shorter time period. Let's go into a, a five minute. Works out pretty well right now. Should be enough time. Okay. And excuse me for all these lines and things. So this morning, here's here's today. This morning we got down to, or yesterday this was it. This morning we got down to O2 right here. So this is where we tested it at. Now, Al and I were speaking early this morning, and right before that, at this point, I had gotten in at, I thought it was 304, or 3104, it was 3103.75, and I rode that up into, let's see, where was that at? Uh, it was this morning, pre-market, this should have, yeah, okay, it was, it, some, okay, it was, where is it at? This must have been in here. Yeah, it was like 637, something like that. All right, so it ran all the way up here to after the market opened to 11. I got out at, I put my stop in at 07.50 and it stopped me out, came down and just an absolutely per perfect hit again, right on 31.04. And it was, a, it, it was a buy here, it was a buy here again. And look at what we've had from that. That was just, just absolute perfection on the way it's supposed to work. Whenever something is a strong area, above or below it doesn't matter it breaks out it's a very very common thing to to come back to it so we can wait for the breakout or we can go ahead and take it let it run because usually that and then you got to watch and put some stops in because it'll usually come back down i really thought we might get down to o2 i mean uh o2 again right here but all we got down to is o3 was that o3 50. And that was just, you couldn't ask for a better spot for that to buy. Steve, Steve, what triggered that, that buy that you had there? Uh, the pivot there. The, uh, you want me to go into that detail? Is that what you want? Yeah, if you could. Oh, just... Okay, I'm you're sure. I'm sorry. Okay, what, right. we had, what we had, let me put this on a minute because it'll show it a little bit better. We're actually getting ready to uh, start doing a, a lot more of this. And I'll share what, what I'm talking about in a little bit, an actual trade that we did today. Okay, so here we had the, the move up from last night. I just happened to be watching this last night, and I was fully expecting this to go over this 97 area and get above, I'm sorry, the 97 was a little before, this 97, all, all day long, especially when this big move down hit and went up. Al and I were talking about it in different ones. I kept saying, we're going to get over the 97, we're going to get over 97. What happens there is another question that I was convinced we're getting over 97 because there's a lot of liquidity above there, a lot of stops. When I saw this a little later in the evening and the spy just took off and boom, it's like, wow. So we hit this high here last night. Uh, what time was that? Uh, 20. So about nine o'clock my time, something like that. So I'm looking at this now as a move down. So that's how we get to where we're at now. As a move down. to get into this to two different things. All right, we have this move down into here, which eventually made it down to the 3102 area again. But this morning, or after that, we have this level here, if we can see it. I apologize completely for that. Okay, here we have two different things, and I'll show you another one as well, we had it. But we had this coming down, here's it. We expected to get to the 127. That is absolute perfection on what's called an A, B equals C, D pattern. This is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D down into here. Now, we also had another one. 
Let me see if I can do it without causing and it. Much. And in toss, that's the extension, the, the fib extension tool. Yes. If you look under drawings here, see where I've got my, where this at. We go to drawing tools. We go over here. We go down to our retracement tool. And then right over here is our extension tool. Those are the two that we use a tremendous amount of to understand where the potential is on the markets. So this went down. Now, how do I look at what we're going to do? All right. We have two different things we can do. We look at a pivot that it went down before we close this. So the pivot right here is 0350. I went ahead and put it at 04 or no 0375 when it got up into here. And this is where I got long in at. 0375 and I had no pain no nothing this is a really really nice trade so but that I'm, pivot that pivot basically uh, and then the market going up and then going down through it and then moving back up is when you entered yes exactly right. okay we are looking for there I've, you've got some videos that we've put together called buying a bottom selling the top and this doesn't mean just a big top. This means on pivots, patterns, all those type of things. But what it does is once we have the move down and we hit our area, our area is always 127, 141 right in this area. It doesn't matter if it went down to here. It's what was the last pivot after it breaks down. So we had pivots here coming down and we could go below it, but it really didn't serve any purpose. You got to complete a pattern. You got what we need to, a really important, important point dealing with anything with Fibonacci's people think, Oh, they're magic numbers. If it was everybody would be rich in, in a couple days, because you just put in hits a seven, eight, six, six, one, eight or something. It's numbers that are important in sequence and in, in harmonics. And they give credence to the harmonics or harmonics give credence to the, to the Fibonacci harmonics just simply means the, the, the harmony, the equal equilibrium, the equal moves. And fractals are the same things. They're repeating the same patterns. That's very simplified. Excuse me. Yeah, by the way, if you if you join the Simple Futures uh, trading group, we do have the uh, the harmonics guide. There's a 300 page guide that Steve put up and, and you can download that uh, for free. So uh, it's, a, it's a great place to start to learn this. And if you learn it, well, as we go a little bit farther, we're gonna have patterns put up on a regular basis with our IBM, but we'll talk about that in a few minutes. So let's end with that, Al, if that's okay, because I'll, I'll show them exactly what it is. That's fine. All right, yeah. so what does this do for us? Let's look at a couple of things here. We had this move from here. We had all these moves. Let's look at a couple of things that we have for, you want confluence. You want something that is in reasonable harmony with what you're doing. So if I go from this low to here, and actually we should go from this low to be quite honest about it. But this is close. Let me do the one we should. We, you want to go from the last, the last low you had here. Okay, go up to here. All right. Okay. And look at this hit the six one eight retracement, which by itself is important, but it only means it's a six one eight retracement. In harmony with another move up here, we actually have a confluence here and a reason to say, okay, this is a solid bottom for this moment. Where do I want to get in long? The last pivot it's right a here. Solid, it's a solid, Steve, it's a solid bottom because it's at the 127 level. Is that the reason? It's confluence of the 618 of this okay. path and the retracement of six of the to the 618 with the 127 and down. Okay. Those combined give you a really solid, solid pattern. That's what that's what we're talking about. You'll learn a lot more as you read the book, as you go through, and we we try to share this kind of information every single day. I'll be calling a lot of trades out here. Look at this. So this pivot going back up, notice what happened here. Let me spread this out a little bit. What we want this to do is go below this, which it did. We want it to go above it. Let's see if we can make this a little bigger so you can see that. I want this really, really clear. And now I've got one I'll show you a little bit. We went below it right here. We went back above it right here. I hope everybody sees that. See how this bar is above where here. Let me put a let me put a line. Yep. Yep. I'll make it really I'll make it really simple. Okay. This is here. We go up. Boom. We come down. We expect some reaction different here. So we went down here. That tells us watch this pivot. We went up above it right here with a big definitive bar. 
Then we went down a little bit. At this point right here, you've got a couple of minutes. You put your order in. Well, we're down here, but you'd put your order in at 303.73, where we go? 3103.75. Well, let's, let's pretend this one's above here. You put that in at a buy stop. And then you can send it. I'm going to delete it now. But you can put it there and just let it wait. When it comes back up, it will take you in. That's the simplest way of doing it. But you don't want to get this just because it's here, excuse me, and buy it. You've got the patterns, the 618, the 127, telling you, okay, this is very possible a solid bottom for at least now. Then it came down below it, went above it, came down below it here to 303. It's a buy. Boom, that's all there is to it. That's what we call out. Okay, I will share this with you in just a few moments of a real trade we did. This is a real trade I did, but we'll do a real trade that I showed for the room ahead of time. All right, so we went over here. We get the open. I fully expect, because a lot of times you hear the opening, you usually get a sideways pattern, and you go up, and then you'll go back down. So we went down. I got out of that at 07... 50, 07, I think it was 0750, something like that. Because I saw this car developing. It's like, okay, we're going down somewhere. I really thought it would go down and hit this 02 again, but it didn't. But that gives you a solid foundation here and here. And now, I didn't call it out, but where is the next buy? Does anybody look at this, what I just explained to you? It's right here. Type in if, any, if anybody knows what the, next, what the buy would be to match this one over here just to see if you got the point. This is not something to put anybody on the spot, but I really would like to see if anybody understands why we want to buy it again. Can you can you explain it one more time? Yes. You know, on, on that particular one? On this okay. one? Uh, yeah, and then compare it to the other. Yeah. Okay, we came down to the pattern, and we are looking for these patterns. This doesn't just show up. When we have this here and we break below this, we're, and go back up and come back down. We are looking for this kind of a pattern. You see the book, you'll do that. When it came below this pivot, down to here, it retested the low. It hit the one six, the one two seven, of the smaller pattern ABC down, and the big move up, the retracement. So everything in here is this is solid. Now I want to go long. I go back and I look at my most reasonable last pivot low which was right here. And I say, okay, that's where I want to buy. But what I want to see happen is this come down through it, go back up through it, come back down through it, and then the next time up, it's a buy. That's why I put my order in and it went boom, took it, came and retested where I got in and took off Came retested where I got in. I just left it alone. I didn't. I didn't put a stop on it except below here, and it went up here because I know this can retest it a couple of times. Does that explain what you needed, Al? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now we have this move up. Let's let's see. Let's take. Uh, let me remove these drawings. Let me draw this out now because we took out this high here. Now we start from another location. We start from down here. All right, so we're going to go up to here. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. Need our Fibonacci retracement. And what we love to see is an 88.6 retrace. And do you see what number that is right there? I have not done this before. I mean, I have not checked this one. But there's our 88 right there. That's what I'm looking for. Perfect. The retracement of a move up like this back down to the 786 and 886. This is... When you see that, I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. This, oh, let's see if I can get this in here. Okay. I'll do this as a little diagram. This is my buy zone. When I see this, I put my fib there and it comes down. This is my buy zone. Plus the fact it came really close to picking this bottom. It confirmed this bottom even further. This was a solid, solid bottom. Now it's retested from a big piece. This is my area. All right. We came down and tested this. We went, here's our low. 
We went up, we came down. What pivot do I have here that I can get long on? It would be the, it would be the one before it, right? On the yeah, left. Yeah. This one yeah. is it, because I don't need the double testing here. We've already double tested. I've come back down, boom. So this low right here, which is 3105.25, that was our buy. And it's a quick buy on this one. It went below it, but I put a stop there and boom. But it even went below it again right here. See that? Yeah. It went yep. below. It went actually, yeah, it just touched it again. So That's you put a buy stop on that level. Yes. The, gotcha. Now, okay. when you have this, again, you've got to be able to anticipate some of this. I don't expect anybody to anticipate all this. That's okay. We're in the room and we're looking for these. This is my job to try and give a heads up on this. I certainly would love everybody to learn this so we can all look for it. The more people you got looking for things, the better chance you have of doing it. Okay, so okay. these are two, two solid trades, but this is one that would have been in the room at the right time. And look where it went from 05, 25, what it was, to 15. That's 10 handles. That's wonderful moves on the, on the ES. You don't want to do the ES. We can do the mini ES or the micro ES. If you don't want to do that, you can buy a call. You can sell a put. I'm sorry, buy a put or you can sell a call. What am I saying? You can buy a call or you can sell a put. Thank you. All right. Or you can do an SPX down below here. You can put something very, very close because you've got this bottom, this retest it. When we take off, that's about probably an 85% security that that's, that's definitely it. Where is our target that we can take with confidence? This was our previous high. Notice it did not take out this high. See that just a little bit? This far, there is no ifs, ands, and buts about it. That's got probably a 90% chance of being taken out because there is tons and tons of liquidity above this. That means when it gets there, people are going to be busting their shorts, their, their stops, and they're going to have to turn around and get long. And the market makers know it. The big people know it. They know exactly what they're doing. They have all this stuff predetermined. There is no, this market's manipulated. Our job is to see if we can find little areas to help us. One other point that really helped here on the high, notice on, let's see, this was at 11, was it 11.25, I think it was. And our SPY was just a little in that area, but our SPY right down in here had its prints and we, I was calling it out. I said, we get the 30... I'm sorry, 311.89, we're going to take off. Let me see if I can put the SPY on here real quick without taking an hour. I really want you to see that. This is not, this is not guesswork. That's my main point. All right, so this high here, this is a SPY. The high there was 11.03, the high at 310.89, right in this area. Okay, so this area, when we got over this, I started talking about this is going to be a buy at 89, 90, whatever. And look what happens when it does. Let me put a drawing there. Now, there's too much to go into as far as that. But there was a sell here. 310.89, 310.90. There was a big sell here. It went down. They sold it like crazy. It went down. Our opening bid was a, a 310.89. Yeah, and there it was open. Okay, so they sold all this. We come up here, we come down. Now we've got a pattern. Got an ABCD pattern. Got this low to this to this. And here's where we've got right above the ABCD, right above the C leg, is where they put their buy in. And look what happens when it does. Boom. We take off like a rocket. This is not guesswork. It doesn't mean we're perfect, get it right all the time because some. Sometimes we just miss it, but there are usually very strong reasons why we get into a buy. Does everybody see that? One other one, I'm going to show you what the earlier buy was, but I'm not going to explain why. When it came above this pivot here, oh, when it came down and came above this pivot, that was the early morning buy, but that was too fast and it's, it's hard to show that to people. All right, let me go back to ES. I thought we might have a chance to put a trade on, but it doesn't look like it. We've just got too much energy. I'll show you what I was looking for, and it's still possible. 
I'm looking for this pattern here one more time, if it will, to get down at this 100 to 127. Well, it might, as long as it holds this. And this will be a short at 1425. I would not short it. I would look for longs. We're going to take, and this is probably a 382, which is also a very bullish retracement. Let me remove these. We're now in the swing from here to here. So let's put this up here. All right. Wow, that would be perfect if it got right into this. Retested this high. That was that is what we're looking for. Retested this high right here about 1150. Anyway, it'd be real close to 382. If this, let me open this up a little bit. If this comes down, and here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for it to first break below this pivot over here. I'm looking for it to break below that. I'm looking for it to get down this 127, but I also would love to see it break that pivot. Somewhere right in the middle of this, the 127, 141 would be very, very nice. And depending on the last bar that's here, we would take the pivot. The safest one you'd have, but you'd have more risk on it, is back above this 1250. But if this gets down in here somewhere, and right before it, it had a bar that ended here, went up, went down, right there is where I would be buying. Oh, we, if we got a couple minutes, this might be interesting. This might be really interesting. This would show if everybody, does everybody have a few minutes? Do you have a minute, a few minutes? Do we have it, Rail, or what? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't mind staying for a few minutes. This, this might be really, really good if we can see that. And it may not, but let me show you what else we can look for. If this comes down, I'll leave that there. If this comes down enough and fills below this, see these three lows here at 1250, 1250, 1250? It'll probably bounce when it hits there. So if it gets down to there, we'll hit that 1250. We'll get a little bounce. We may get down just a little bit in here. And then the 1250 would be the buy on the way back up. What's your risk? It's just down to the next line. If we if we reverse here at the 127, the 162 is our is our stop in there. Now you have to judge a little bit. It, it, there's a lot we can go on. We are very high here, and we we, we could certainly expect a deeper move. But if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But for right now, this would be it. What would be our expectation if we get in long here to go back and challenge this high? So that's what we're doing. All right. While this is doing this, let me show you a trade that we actually that I actually put up today and actually did. Let's see, uh, MCG Gold. We'll keep an eye. I'm keeping an eye on that another another monitor. Okay, this is where did it go? Okay, here we go. This is what we had today on gold. This was a real trade. I took it and I shared it the room in plenty of time. So this was all here. This was here. This is what I woke up to. This this swing here. So let's look at this swing. And it came down here, and I'm expecting the 66 is a buy. Why am I expecting that? Let's go back to our fundamentals. Have this here. We've got this into the, the 786, which is a very, very nice place to move. Nice place to look at it. We have a an ABCD pattern. Okay, and between the 100 and the 127. We came down. Now, the reason I didn't wait for here, we came down. What happened next? We went up. We came back down to retest this. Did we go below it? Obviously, no. So what's my next area that I can work with? Over here is my pivot at 66. 66 is also the area that makes sense the way it is. But here's my pivot. So I put in an order. I said buy at 66. And I said if it go into 66, where is that? Yeah. Um, I said we should get up to 67. 
If we get to 67, we should go ahead and get up to 68. And then if we get to that, what's my next move that I expect? I expect to get it up even higher. So let's see, we've got, this is today. Yep, this is today. Okay. So when 66, we came up, we came all the way up here to 68. We hit the 67. Here's what I was expecting to get over this one here. That's the 67. We got above it, retraced a little bit. I put my stop too close. I was out there. We moved up. I expected to get, here's our move. Notice here we have an ABCD pattern down. Right to the 100. That just gives confidence. It's not a buy. It's giving confidence it will stay in the, in the trade. We get up. We get above this 68. I said we should get above 69, and we should get almost to 1470. Oh, here's where it's at. Okay, there's where it's at. I said we should get to 1469.10 and maybe 1470. This is why I said 1410 or 1469.10. I'm sorry, this one, 1469.10. Get above that, but not to go above this one yet. And I fully expected to get above this pivot that we started with. Does everybody see? This is where we started. This is where we buy. Up here, right above this, is where I expected to get to, just a tick or two above. And it did. This is, again, not by accident. There is no, you know, super knowledge on anything. It's just how, we'll just put it simply, it's how the big boys trade. They don't buy up here. When this moves, they buy down here. They move it to where they want it. And what do we do? We wait till it gets some moving average, something up here, we move up, and we say, okay, I'm gonna buy it here. And then we have to fight all this mess. If we learn to take these pivots like they are, and that's what we're gonna try and do in our room that Al's put, put, putting together for us for the futures, we're gonna see more of this kind of trading. Do we make mistakes? Of course we do. Sometimes I read it wrong. But if we will look at it totally mechanical, this is the type of trade. This is absolutely the type of trade to expect, to see, and probably, well, I don't want to be, I don't want to get too carried away, but I would say 60, 65% will be winners. Now, I truly believe it will be more than that, but I think that's a fair place to put it. But 65%, if you're winning, when you're winning, you're winning, say, three or four handles, and when you're losing, you're losing one or two handles. I think if you do the math, you'll see pretty quick over a period of time and trades, that's very profitable. And my goal is to help everybody with the mini, the minis or the micros, I'm sorry, the micros, and then build up to whether you do the full ES or the full gold. But you can add on to these. This is, this is no pain trading because if you're wrong, the risk is not very much. Okay, are you still with me, Al? Yes, sir. Yeah, I Still here. We lost a couple before. I didn't want to. I didn't want to take a chance of losing everybody. So, do we have any? Do we have any questions from anybody on these? If you want to print or type a question, let me go back to to the to the MES. See where we're at. Boy, this just doesn't want to come down. But this is okay. We got a nice sideways pattern going here. Yep. This it's probably going to take out the eyes at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. This, there's very little doubt in my mind we're going to count <laughs> the eyes again. Yeah. Because it's, when it stays in here, what I would love to see, and we could have it happen. I was showing a while ago. Go below this 1250. If this, and this, this is very possible. See, we got one, we got another pattern here we can work with. It's the same place, came up and re Okay, this is. When it retests the C leg and doesn't go through it, starts to come down. That's a pretty good shot we got down. It came down to the 100. If we can get to right here, oh, 1225 would be just, I'd be thrilled with that. If we get below, if we get this one, the 1150, that is really a nice, a nice trade. So watch this. If we don't get it done in the next few minutes here, we could have a, okay, we got a dip going. Yep. And NQ is doing the same thing. Okay, Pretty let's watch this. Let's watch this for a few minutes if everybody's got time. This is a wonderful live learning experience if we can do it. And if I'm wrong, I'm only going to risk two handles on it. Ooh, that's a nice little drop. 
Let me see if we got, let me see what prints are. I want to look at that, see if we got anything going on there. 309, oh, that's a late print. Okay, we're at 311.21. Oh, okay, this is, this is okay. Let's go time and sales, active trader, just in case we get a chance. Pull this over. Okay, let's see if, all right, I'm, I'm going to leave these closed to show that better. If we get there, I'll get in there real quick. Okay, so now we got this. If it hits here at the 1250, we certainly expect some kind of a bounce. But if it stays below, okay, this is the reason we have a good shot now. We had our high, came down, we went up, and here's our C leg. We got A. I'll draw this in real quick just so everybody understands what I'm talking about. This is our A. This is our B. Well, this is our C. Now, what makes this so nice is we came down, we came up and tested this, and we said, okay, here's our level. If this holds, we're going down. We also have another pattern. This is now a smaller a, a B, a C again, but this is where the interesting part is. It doesn't take out the former C. So that gives us a really good resistance level that we're likely to go down. We take out this low right here, which we did just by a tick here. That's a good sign. We're likely to get down here. For this one, we've got a D coming in right in here. Let's see. I'll put it here so I don't mess up where we're at. And that's on the second one. This first one, we've got a D somewhere down in here. What I would like to see, first off, we got to, we've got to get below this for to have even a possibility of a trade, the 1250. This little pivot here, I'd like to see go down. And then let's, I think we already did this before. So we got up, down, okay. We're gonna go from this one right here. Our last swing down. Okay, there's our 618. Here's our, no, this is our last swing down, I'm sorry. Let's see, we got, yeah, this is our last swing down. We've got it. And the 6 we're going to put the 5 on here because that's probably going to be where it goes. 5 and 6 is by itself a natural place to turn. Oh, this is looking good. All right, let me see if I can bring this a little tighter so we can see it better. All right, this is looking nice. So the trade basically is once we go down to the 127 and then back up through which pivot? 1250. 1250. Okay. Unless we take this one out, which is a 5 -0. Right. This could very well take out because we have the 127 right here. 1150 would be beautiful. But we'll see what the price action does. Anyway, so this would be, we'd be calling out, this is exactly what we do. I'd be laying it out. This is what we're doing. You know, if we below the 1250, watch that. If we get down below this 1225, okay, now we got right here at the 1275. We expect a little action here. There's going to be resistance in this going down. But we don't buy here. It is not set up yet. You can buy here, but you got to put your stop down, down in this area. And I hate putting a big stop down. But it's, it's cooperating very nicely. If nothing else, I hope everybody sees what we're looking for. Trading is definitely a waiting game. We all want something to happen now. But what usually happens when we just jump and say, I think I'll go long. I think I'll go short. We usually lose. It, it's, there's a methodology to this. And all I'm telling you is I'm showing you a lot of insight into how the big boys trade. They don't trade like we do. We see this up here. Oh man, this is going to break out. I'm going to buy it. They're selling. We're down here going. Oh, this is going to take off. I'm going to sell it, and they're buying there. 
We do everything wrong. Have you ever, probably you've heard somebody say it, or maybe you've said it yourself, that I'm always wrong. I should just do the opposite of what I think I should do. <laughs> I've heard that. There's more truth in that than you would might believe. I think, I think I've said it myself a few times. No. Okay, we just had a print now, 311.30. Okay, three eleven thirty on the spy. Okay, we should we should go down a little bit, and if that's a head fake, when it goes back up three eleven thirty, we should be somewhere in here looking at this, or maybe even preempting it. So let's see what happens. And if it goes about three eleven thirty, we could take that buy, but I don't I don't want it right now. It's more it's more risk because it's still too close. But if we can get down here, blow this, and turn around. Then 311.30 is most likely a buy. Oh, it's 502,000. Okay, that is a, okay, no, that's the early print. Okay, there was another print, but that's the early print. Okay, this is, this is, they have messed up our trade here, but I don't think so. And it never goes straight to where you want. So, so this is, there's nothing unusual about having to wait for this. I just wish they'd hurry up so you guys could see this. Whether we, whether we make a good trade or not, I want you to see what it does. Because when you see later, this, this be what we're doing. Looking for things like this to go down. Right now we can look at this as a pretty big rectangle. It looks big. It's not really that big. But that's really our rectangle. And what happens a lot is it's going to, the possibility of it going below that a little bit and then back up is also a buck. So notice I got right here at the 1225. We go below that. Back up. We got a we got a shot. We should we should at least be able to get break even without too much trouble. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. We got a little bit moving down. The spy is not moving down very fast, but it's trying to. Oh, gold got a big print. One thirty eight twenty six. Oh, okay. Maybe it's finally hit the bottom and going back up. I was very very bullish on gold. Went up and made some highs, and I was bearish on it, came down, and I'm semi bullish on it again as long as it stays above 65, uh, 1465. We had, well, I can tell you, we had this marked out for the gold to get to about 1447, I think, or 46, 45, 48, somewhere there. It did and took off, and it just picture perfect when it works. If you can pick the right pat, right pivots. Okay, and this is what you wind up doing. A lot of times when it's here, you're in the spot because what are people doing? They're buying and selling. They're buying and selling. And the market makers are waiting. They're going to let this drop down, and they're going to pull it back up. If that happens, if we don't go by the pivot, it's going to go down more. It's always, and this is the hard part. It's I, I really like to buy the pivot the first time because it'll hit it and then come down. And then usually the next time it hits, we got a better shot. Sometimes it takes three. So this one up here, hit once, twice. If it gets up there, it hits again. It should be go. It should go through it. But we plan on being in down here, not up here. I hope that makes sense. So that's the goal that we look for. Now that spy is just not dropping off very much. No. Nope. Yeah, they're 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 holding down. But that gives us even more credence that if we can if we can just get down below this twelve fifty. And back up. Now, we could have bought this one here at twelve at thirteen, but I'm not as comfortable with it. And it may have been the buy. So this over here, and we're not getting the bounce that we should if it's a buy. Usually, when you buy that, when you get it back up, you usually get a, a decent move a little bit. Uh, and it's it's not it's not uh, a problem getting a couple of handles. Let's look at this pivot right here. If you'd have bought that one. You don't buy it on the first hit, you buy a second hit, right? So there's your second hit. You have no pain. You went up from 1375 to 1525 with no pain. That is what I like. It doesn't always work that way, but it works that way a lot. Here's one right here. What do we do? We came down. If we'd have bought this, we went up 1325, went up to 1425. It's only a handle, but I'm showing you that when usually when they do that, you get a you get a reaction of some sort, and didn't take it didn't wouldn't have had to take you out, and boom. Okay, we're gonna go challenge the 3, 311.30. thirty. 
and let's see if it'll do that. And if it come back down, it might be what we want. If it goes above it, this is going to go up a little bit more, and then we'll have to wait for it to come down. But this is this is what we do, what we try and have, and we try not to have in a whole bunch of trades. If we do things correctly, we have one or two trades. Let's see. Um, how much time have we got, Al? Uh, we're getting close here. Looks like, okay. uh, yep. All right, let me, let me, we'll, we'll come back to this in a minute. Let me go into the, no, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not going to change it. Let's take our couple minutes there. If we don't, give us three more minutes. If we're not looking like we're going to do it, we'll just call it there. But you guys watch for that to get below this 1250 or 1225 or possibly the 12 and look for it when it reverses back up. All right, we can go ahead and call it here. It's it's okay. Oh wait, here let 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 it move. It should it should be falling. Yeah. Well, we're close. We're we're right in that pattern. Even if we don't yeah. take a trade, I'd love them to see it live. But this is where they just torment us at, just waiting, 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 and then say, okay, it's got to do it. It's got to do it. It's got to do it. And they let the bottom fall out, or they get let it run up, and then they take our stops out, and it reverses. How many times do you pick a trade right? But your stop's too close, something happens, and you get yep. taken out, and it goes. It's all because of this. Don't think they don't know exactly where they're taking this and where they where they know that people are going to be at. Right now, we've got a pivot here and a pivot here. One of those will break. And if this one breaks and goes back up, then we go look for this one to break. But Friday, it being Friday, I would not hold over the weekend if I was long on anything like this. Because we no, have especially this, this weekend is, uh, I think the deadline for the uh, trade negotiations are supposed oh, to be done. Okay. Yeah. I didn't really see that. yeah. I don't really keep up with news. I just look at charts. But right. right. I do know this is a, a would be an easy thing to drop because we're up so high. And get back down to 3102 and below it. Then we'll go down a little bit more probably. It, it's not a big deal to go down to go down another 20, 30, 40 handles. That's not a big deal. Yeah. Looks like it wants to stay right at that level here until you know until something happens. But yeah, something happened here a little bit. They're they're waiting for everybody to get back from lunch. Yeah. They'll put it down and then they'll buy some more and take off. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can call it here if you like, Al. I, I didn't mean for All this right. to be such a long time, but I the, the Several things here that were really nice to be able to see live. No, this is, yeah, this is good. I'm, and I always learn something myself. So, no, this oh, was very good. Yep. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to close it down and um, we're going to watch for these levels after this and see what happens. But uh, y'all have a great weekend and thanks for attending. We'll have a recording on this, a replay uh, soon. All right. Thanks a lot. We'll see you.